here. One more a note on politics, Congressman <laughs> Hoekstra. Once upon a time, there was a tradition of solidarity and refraining from criticizing the president at the time the nation was under attack. Three days after uh, this attempt to kill 300 people over the skies of Detroit, you sent out a fundraising letter, and I'd, I'd like to read a portion of it so our audience gets the full flavor of it. Uh, you said, I have pledged that I will do everything possible to prevent these terrorists from coming to Michigan, but I need your help. If you agree that we need a governor who will stand up to the Obama-Pelosi efforts to weaken our security, please make a most generous contribution of $25, $50, $100, or even $250 to my campaign. Given that tradition that once was part of this country, are you proud of that, of fundraising off of a national crisis like that? Well, I've been leading on national security for the last nine years that I've been on the Intelligence Committee. You know, over the last uh, two to three months, I've been very concerned about where this administration has taken us on national security issues. The refusal uh, to acknowledge that the Fort Hood attack was a terrorist attack. But I'm asking about uh, raising money off the attempted murder of 300 people three days after it occurred. I, I am proud of the role that I have played in making sure that America is safe. I'm raising yeah, money. I've been right on the facts all along on, this, uh, on the recent attacks, the connections with Yemen. The, the differences between this administration and myself have been purely substantive. They have been policy. I've been trying to drive this administration in a policy direction that keeps America safe. I think if you listen to the language that we have heard over this, uh, this morning with the guests that you've had on the program, we are now at a point where we have come back. We've got, we've got some political disagreements or policy, excuse me, we've got some policy agreements, but we also have a recognition that this threat is real, it is imminent, and that we need to come together in a bipartisan basis to fix it. All right. I am proud of the role that I have played in making sure that this country stays safe. All right, we will see uh, how Great. that effort at bipartisanship goes forward. Welcome and thank you to you thank all you. for joining us.